Welcome back aliens, my name is Davin Reddy and let's continue with the series on Python. Now till this point we have talked about functions right and how do we define functions is by using def keyword and then we mention the function name as well right. What if I don't mention the function name, can I do that? If I don't mention a name it becomes anonymous right and that's where we can create a function in Python called as anonymous functions functions without name or you can also call them as lambdas okay so let's see how what that mean is so what i will do is let's say if i want to create a function normally what we do is we say def and if let's say if i want to find a square of a number so what we do is we say square and it, we pass some parameters let's say if i pass a and on this a i want to perform an operation which is a into a and then the way you call them is by saying if you say result is equal to square you call that function right and you pass a number so let me pass number five i want to find a square of number five and in this case I, I'm also want to print the value for result now of course this will work right we have done that before it works you get 25 but look at the code now so we have this function definition right so normally when you, when you talk about functions we expect it will have at least three to four lines of code or maybe five lines of code right look at this it only has one line of code what is doing is it, it is returning that value right so we have only one expression which is returning a value that's it we are wasting two lines with a def keyword with a return keyword with a name of function right so what if you want to use a function only once and you don't want to define the name of the function right and if you want only have one expression can we do that when we talked about function there is one thing about functions we can pass functions to a function okay so that means the way you pass values the way you pass objects you can also pass functions because functions are object in python if you talk about this square now look at this code it, it perfectly works right but the only problem with which i have here is i will not be using the square function multiple times i will be using that square function only once and that too it, it has only one expression so instead of defining a function we can define a function when you want to use it directly okay you can simply say a colon this this is your function but arguments okay so you have to say a that's your arguments the arguments which you are passing and the operation on that argument which is a into a right so we got this function which is anonymous okay which accepts a value a and what you return is a into a because you want to find a square of it but the thing is you need to use one more keyword here which is lambda because the anonymous function they are also called as lambda expressions or like or you can say lambda lambda functions or lambda expression you can say whatever you want and then if you want to use that lambda okay the thing is as we mentioned that functions are objects in python so of course you need to assign it to someone so you will say f equal to lambda now this f represents your function okay and you can pass that function to any function you can in fact we'll be seeing that later so we can use this function in other functions as well we'll see that now what i will do want to do is i want to find a square of five so look at this we are simply saying lambda a colon a into a and that assigned to f now since this is a function we have to use a bracket right so whatever you pass here in 5 goes to a we will perform some operation on that a and then you will get it back now i know at this point it looks a bit weird but hold on once we talk about you know some other functions available how can we use lambda functions in other functions it will be awesome okay but time in this is how it works okay so if i run this code you can see we got the output which is 25 let's say if you want to define a function which will add two numbers okay we can do that let's say if i pass 5 comma 6 okay so we are calling a function f which doesn't have a name okay and we are saying 5 comma 6 and then that value will go into two variables right so i will say a and b and i want to perform the operation right so you will say a plus b so point to remember you can pass any number of arguments but it should be only of one expression which is in this case a plus b or a into a something like that it should be one expression so that's your anonymous functions okay so we are defining a function with the help of lambda and it doesn't have a name okay so you will understand this more when you start with when you see a next video so in the next video we'll talk about how can we use lambdas in other functions okay so that's it from this video i hope you enjoyed this video. let me know in the comment section so that's it everyone bye bye